Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dynamic Discs Trilogy Challenge Challenge. Today this is for the 2020 Trilogy Challenge, so our players will be throwing the Latitude 64 Superhero, the Dynamic Discs Bounty, and the West Side Discs Crown. And playing today we have Dixon Jowers, Isaiah Esquivel, Paige Shu, and Anthony Vanden Heuvel. I'm joined by Robert McCall for some commentary and uh, looks like it's going to be a good match today. What's going on everyone? Oh, Paige already playing to the crown. <laughs> She's ready to go. Anthony looking like maybe he didn't like that shot. Whatever. We are here at Jones West, uh, hole one, 295 feet. This is just kind of a towering hyzer over these trees. It needs to go a little bit more left than you think off of the box. And so with the discs that uh, our players are going to be playing with, um, there's only one real good option for this type of shot at this distance, and it's the SPZ-3. Um, that is... It's kind of a neutral fairway driver in base plastics it's, it's a little bit more understable but uh but in these premium plastics it actually turned out fairly straight stable uh i think players are going to love this disc for hyzers long straight shots even forced over and hyzers so looks like anthony is going to be out after throwing way too far kind of his thing yeah throwing usually way too far all the time yeah they were um I really like the SPZ-3 for dead straight shots. It seems like if you put it on a little bit of a hyzer, it just flips up to flat and doesn't really move left to right much at all. It's yeah. just going to keep going straight. Awesome. So a couple of birdies for Isaiah and Dixon, and then it's going to be tapping pars for Paige and Anthony. Paige had a pretty good look at that putt, but first putt of the day, oh, she just picked it up. She's like, yeah. oh, I was going to pick that. So and did Anthony. The, but the current he, circumstances, we decided to go with the uh, the PDJ's recommendation and picking up all gimmies. So yeah, anything within... Idea. 10 to 7 feet was uh, was just a pickup out here. And Dixon. Yeah, super aggressive, but good result there. We had a, a little bit of a headwind on this hole. And so Dixon was like, you know, he didn't like the straight shot with a disc that's not really going to fade that much. So he decided something different, and it worked out well for him. Right. Isaiah going kind of with a wider Anheuser. It looked like he clipped a branch earlier, else he might have had a good look at the basket. Little early release for Paige there. That's kicked down right. That should be fine to get up and down. So far, I think we've seen a lot of SPZ3 throws here. Yeah, playing into this headwind, it was kind of coming from over the interstate. That's definitely going to be the case for the first uh, the first few holes here. Yeah, kind of a surprising play for Paige. I thought she might take the hyzer around this tree, but she played to the left of the uh, of the cedar up there. The uh, The crown feels very similar to a judge to my hand. Yeah. Um, so maybe she was expecting a little bit less stability out of it, but I do know it has a good bit more. Um, Anthony 100% called this roller too. Dude, he's getting crafty. Look at this guy. That was a nice shot. And most people would throw that shot and claim it was lucky, but he called it. He knew exactly what was going on the whole time. Oh. Ooh, good look at par for Paige, but that's going to hit the band and ultimately leave her with a bogey. That'll be par for Isaiah. Dixon absolutely parked. It looked like he was farther back from the tee. That's a fantastic birdie. Mm -hmm. We let Paige pick hers up from a similar distance, but we made sure Anthony cleaned up on this one. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. As he should. So we had probably an 8 to 10 mile an hour headwind yeah. for this hole here. Yeah, just a little bit uphill. 320 probably plays a little bit more like 330, 340. And if you're trying to learn how to throw the SPZ3, you can just kind of go to school on Dixon's shot there. Basically perfect. Yeah, the old tee shot to pick up is a is a good a good pattern to get into. A little bit extra power for Isaiah, um, and he's he's turned that over just a little bit. Anthony, kind of correcting off of Isaiah's shot, and actually overcorrected a bit. That's got a lot of hyzer on it and headed toward the road there left. It barely stayed safe. It was uh, within within three feet to the road, but it was it was very close over there. Yeah. And then Paige kind of right down the middle. A little too much hyzer as well, but not a bad shot. She's got a jumper. Probably 50 feet. Thereabouts, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, not bad. Isaiah here from a little bit closer, probably 45. Oh, just a little bit of lift on that, but catches some chains, unable to stick it. Anthony here, Anthony's... we made him know it was a double mando on this. Yes, that's field goal. You have to. He oh. made the mando, <laughs> unable to connect for the putt. Dixon effectively tapping out. Yeah, so Dixon off to a great start, three for three here. He told me after this that 
he threw the SPZ3 so much, and it was just working for him. Anthony, noticed there, he picked up his disc, but then completely defeated the purpose by still touching the basket with it <laughs> while not holding out. I'm not really sure what the game plan was there. This is a beautiful shot from Dixon, though. Yeah, playing to the basket on the right here, 363 feet. Downhill plays a little bit closer to 340. Isaiah's got this turned a little bit in the wind, and that it was smashed. We were calling for this to go in the, the other basket there for hole six. Yeah. Or hole five. That was, that was crushed. Yeah, it's a smash. You want to know how far that disc goes? Right there. Yeah, the, the glide on these seems kind of like in that escape saint range where it's just got glide to go for days. And Anthony shows that to you right there, just putting putting it up nice and high, letting the disc do the work for him. He's in a great spot. Paige has thrown a great shot as well. Well, she ended up with this well, tree right in between her and the basket. It looked like a great shot. Forehand approach. That's actually going to put her inside the cedar there, but Is close that, enough that she should have a good look. That might be the first forehand I've ever seen Paige throw. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't throw them often. Isaiah crunched it way too far, so he's going to have to pitch around the tree. This is Dixon to go four for four. I mean, count it. He was he was feeling the putting green today. Anthony effectively tapping out there. Yeah, nice birdie. And not an easy putt from inside the tree there for Paige from a knee, but she makes it happen. Isaiah left with about a 20-footer here. No problem cleaning it up. So he and uh, he and Anthony are going to be sitting at one under page at one over. Dixon taking the hyzer route here on hole five, and it looks like the wind is doing exactly what it's supposed to, kind of pushing from their right and getting that over toward the basket. Anthony Great actually shot with the crown on this on this tee shot here, which is interesting. I guess it's the, probably the most overstable of all the discs. So I guess he was sure. counting on that. Sure, and it maybe just didn't quite get the airplay that he wanted it yeah, to. Yeah, the lift coming from the right. That makes sense. But three pretty good tee shots so far. Oh, and Paige had a great angle and good height, but uh, just a little bit too high. Oh, my goodness. Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> it was in the range. whole way. What a shot. Oh, there we go. That That's where we get the wind <laughs> and the finger guns. <laughs> well earned with the throw in from range by Paige Shoe. Super cool shot. Probably 150, 180 feet out. Just yeah. never, never was going anywhere but the bottom of the basket. Easiest, easiest shot of her life. Isaiah dead center. Good looking putt. After Dixon. Dixon. Yeah, perfect start. Five for five. He was, he was whining at Anthony for not completing the star frame there. It's not the, not the one you'd expect to not complete it based on their tee shots. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So 365 on hole six uphill. Plays closer to about 380 or 390. This is quite a long tee shot. Um, with the wind now, it's going to be... I guess the wind would be a little bit coming off their right and kind of in their face. Mm -hmm. So not an ideal wind to get all the way up to this hole unless you pick the perfect angle. Paige, it seems like she's been trying to figure out the angle, the hyzer angle to, to throw that disc on because she's almost gotten it flat on a lot of shots. It's turned a little bit, but not quite flat. And I think if she could get it flat, um, she would get a lot more distance. And I, I'm pretty sure she figures that out later, but Anthony is dead center of this tree. Yeah, Anthony could have thrown almost any angle on that line and it would have still found the tree. <laughs> Dixon's... When you center a tree like that, it's trouble. Dixon was encouraging Anthony to throw this roller. Um, that was just a hyzer. Yeah, Sorry it didn't. It. <laughs> he ended up in the exact same position behind a, a slightly different tree. And Back Dixon was the, like, well, now you could throw the roller again. Back to the forehand roller game. He's got experience with this today. I, I mean, that's working. Yeah, the wind's pushing it a little bit. <laughs> I'm glad we got to capture that one on video. <laughs> He was going yeah, for a thought... roller, and it still came out on Heiser. I'm trying to figure out how he did that. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme angle control. So Paige, unfortunately, is just going to have to lay up for her um, bogey there. Isaiah with a nice long run for birdie. This is Dixon for birdie. Just left. Kind of a tough spot left of that tree, especially with the wind. Uh, not really sure how much that's going to lift that putter. So this is for four for Anthony. 
And you hate to see it, but that's going to be a double. Ooh. Just left side. I know, I know Isaiah, like uh, you and I, are, are both proud members of Team Warden. So generally right. a B-list straight flying putter, a little more stability out of the crown. Uh, seems to be giving Isaiah trouble here early, but we'll see if he gets it figured out later on. Dixon kind of going straight up the middle here, hole seven. 335 plays closer to 310 or so with a downhill. And he's just caught an early tree. Isaiah's. I believe this is crown for Isaiah. Yeah, he doesn't want to mess with any of the trees that Dixon hit. So he just went over all of them. And he's done so beautifully. I mean, that's probably right around circle's edge yeah. left. If, you, if you've ever shot. played this course, try that shot with a putter. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's almost an elevator on the way down. Like, you have to get it turned over just a little bit so it doesn't fade out too much. Anthony going with the bounty here. Playing for the left to right move, and he gets a little bit of movement, but just started it a bit too far left. Anthony is trying to get Dixon <laughs> to go roller here. <laughs> He's up with the smooth bounty up shot. Yeah. Make sure that you don't see the result in case it's bad. That's a pro move from Dixon. <laughs> Page, unfortunately, just has a little too much heat on this on this upshot. Ends up just barely trickling into the water there. Yeah, Paige probably still feeling good from hole five, you know, on top of her game thing, and she can just throw everything in. And that's that's a bad break for Isaiah. Great tee shot, unable to capitalize on the birdie. Dixon up and in for par. And this will be bogey, unfortunately, for Paige Shu. Yeah, she's not too pleased. Definitely uh, off-season 2.0. Just kind of chilling, not getting out, playing a lot of disc golf. Uh, I completely lost this shot, by the way. I did not see where it landed in, <laughs> in person. Yeah, it's not a bad angle if you can get the disc high enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just kind of tricky. Isaiah's kind of straight in the middle of those two trees, which isn't a bad spot to be. Anthony goes all the way through the left side of the trees. Kind of the, the road less traveled there. If you were uh, if you were listening to Disc Golf Answer Man Hot Takes a few weeks ago, we had AJ Risley on, and he talked about how there's no such thing as luck in disc golf. Um, Anthony found it there. Yeah. Just straight Quite. through the thickest, worst cedar tree. Just, it's fine. He'll have a birdie putt on the other side. Yeah, easy. Paige with a nice forehand run, and yeah, Isaiah just not quite getting the putter going right now. Misses that one a little bit left. This is Dixon from about 30 feet. Yeah, just over the top, and then Anthony for the lone birdie. Oh, you love to see it. Gets him back to even par. He definitely was planning to do that. Calculated shot. He pulls it off. <laughs> Paige's aggressive forehand play does not play off. As she'll have to settle for bogey. Isaiah's in for par, as is Dixon. Well, nine here is 325 feet, and I, 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 there hadn't been a lot of bounty shots so far, and so I said, guys, let's let's see some bounty shots here. Like you don't, I'm obviously throw whatever you want, but I, I was encouraging them to throw bounty shots, and so they they all obliged. Besides Paige, I think. But uh, Dixon, yeah. Isaiah, and Anthony all with, went, went with the bounty. And I think... Um... Oh, this is smashed. Wow. Yeah, smooth flight from Isaiah there. You can see a little too much hyzer from Anthony, a little too flat from Dixon, pretty much just right for Isaiah. And then Paige just going with the SPZ3, and that's uh, perfect. 20 Definitely feet right. Closest. Yeah, straight flight. And Isaiah's, I don't know if you saw, actually went OB. He carried, oh, crushed uh, it. He carried onto the road. Skipped across it. Wow. He throws far. Turns out, yeah. We're repaying Dixon for stepping in front of his shot by obscuring the basket. So if he made that, <laughs> you'd have never known. Yep. I, like I was it. pretty confident he wasn't going to make it. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a tough <laughs> shot. There's Easy birdie for Paige there. Beautiful tee shot. Getting back a stroke on the card. And I don't, she might give it back here. That's a <laughs> little bit of a high shot from Paige, but uh, leaning on the, uh, the SPZ3 here to uh, to move to the right a little bit, just started it too high. Well, 10 here at 375 is reachable, especially in a tailwind with a mid-range, but definitely a more comfortable shot out of a fairway driver. Dixon, that's pretty much the perfect flight out of the SPZ3, I think. 
just a little bit of hyzer, it'll leak just a little bit right and then have that nice fade back. And yeah, speaking and of perfect you, flight. You, exactly, you see that in the bounty here from Isaiah. Little hyzer up to flat, over to the right, and it just goes. And that hit Great the tree shot. past the basket. So that was probably going at least 400 feet. I mean, downhill in a tailwind, but still a four-speed mid-range, 400 feet. That was that had some heat on it. Yes. Comfortable layup for Paige. Spike hyzer layup for Anthony. You don't see it often, but uh looked like it worked out pretty well there. Dixon's back on the birdie train now. So he capitalizes from just deep and right of the basket. I don't think Dixon has missed a putt yet. Yeah, he's a pretty solid putter. So here we're actually playing to the short basket. I haven't, uh, I've never seen any any footage or anything of people playing to this basket. So it's at 310 feet. Um, it plays putter or mid-range kind of a turnover shot. I thought it lined up well for the bounty again. Um, and yeah. Isaiah puts a beautiful line on this one. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the ideal flight. He's kind of got the bounty dialed in now, just a little bit of hyzer, let it flip up and ride to the right. That ended up being a, a bit short, um, but uh, but the perfect line to get to the basket. Anthony's got that same nice flight, hyzer flip up to flat, not quite over to the right, but he's going to be in putting range. Dixon here from about 35 feet, maybe 40. Yeah, he covered most of the distance, just kind of got a little bit of cut out to the left. Page with the aggressive run just over the basket. Tony jamming him. Just dead in the center in the heart of the chains. <laughs> it's never, you're never missing. <laughs> Come on. Good putt by Anthony. Clean up for Page. And I missed Isaiah's putt here, but he did miss it. He was a bit short and ended up walking away with a par there. Moving over to hole 12, 210 feet. This is a perfect shot for the crown. Straight shot. Uh, you really don't want to go early right, and you definitely don't want to be long. Um, Isaiah might have a uh, might have a look from there, but he also might have nothing by the time he gets up there. Dixon's actually going bounty here, kind of powering it down and getting that dead straight flight. And th that's a throw that's reminiscent of like an ultimate throw. So if you're coming over from ultimate and you're looking for a mid range to fit your game, I think the bounty is a really good one. Just give it a nice wrist snap and it'll fly straight for you. Page was maybe oh inside goodness. the circle, probably outside though. Page has been all over the basket for birdie. Just hasn't been able to convert too much yet. If baskets were tone poles, she would be killing it. And Isaiah, <laughs> she'd be winning. <laughs> Isaiah took a minute to line up that shot. He had a very small window to get through, but ends up connecting for his birdie. Dixon, significantly easier. And Anthony, also known as the Incredible Hulk, just smashed it probably That's 25 right. feet past this basket here. Yeah, he should have He should have smashed it maybe only 20 feet past, mm -hmm. and he'd have made it. <laughs> so uh, hold 13 here, 333 feet. This is a hole that's kind of tricky to get to. You almost have to... Uh, do, do you that. remember uh, do you remember when we talked about luck earlier yeah that's um seems to be it right there i don't know i'm not an expert or anything dixon throwing literally the exact same shot gets completely shut down and has no look at the basket i'm uh yeah i'm, I'm no philosopher yeah philosophizer that's one of those <laughs> things that they call world champ love oh I yeah one uh and so is Paige, but neither dixon nor anthony are so they're never going to get those kind of kicks wow okay that's that's the trick yeah you just got to win a worlds and then you're set Ooh, another page oh, shoe forehand that. oh my goodness and a beautiful flight she has to have been working on that because that's like that's a new tool for her for sure dixon with surprising flexibility it's the air bounce he was running that for sure yeah, at this point, why not? <laughs> Anthony's dejected face is <laughs> one of my favorite things. That's, He's just off the right side of the basket there. That's one of the best drives I've seen on that hole from Isaiah there. Uh, and Isaiah went to the bounty rather than the uh, at the superhero here just to uh, just to avoid going long and then just proceeds to go long anyway. Go long. <laughs> Isaiah that's problems, kind of his really. thing. Yeah. But four, hole 14 at 315 feet here. The, there's really our two plays, the, the ones you've seen so far. The dead straight shot out of a mid-range or the big hyzer out of more of the fairway driver. I didn't expect Dixon to go with the big hyzer with a driver that's that 
kind of straight, but he was able to make it work. That, that SPC3 has some, some more stability than I expected it to have for sure on those hyzer lines. Yeah, really, really versatile for kind of line shaping shots. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a great bit. woods disc for sure. And then Isaiah no just uh, took a provisional just in case. Uh, he wanted to go ahead and throw the putter here. And it was really cool, so I left it in the video. <laughs> just in case that tree is OB yeah. and they couldn't find his disc. Mm -hmm. I like it. Paige trying to ring it up from range again. Leaves it just a bit left. Anthony Still have an easy from, par from there, though. Anthony from a similar spot. Oh. Air ball. Oh. So Isaiah took a minute to line this up. Low, he, he started to get a cramp in his leg and wasn't able to make the putt, so he stood up, or wasn't able to putt it, so he stood up and made the, or ran his putt from up there, just oh. off the cage. There was discussion as to whether these were, were gimmies or whether people should clean them up. We decided they were gimmies. Um, but Anthony wanted to go ahead and putt his anyway. Coronavirus in the basket. Oh, that's good. That seems like trouble for Anthony. Yeah, the clip <laughs> wouldn't have been in the video if he'd have made it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> for, the foreshadowing was too good. <laughs> <laughs> Hole uh, 15 here at 295. I don't think it quite plays 295. Maybe it plays like 275. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm on board with that. That was a, a ideal bounty line. Dixon ends up going a little bit long into that tree. And Isaiah here is probably two feet, maybe three feet from the basket with the crown. It's a fantastic driving putter. Anthony with the putter shot ends up just a little bit short. And Paige here. This is an ideal bounty shot from her. Oh, yeah. Flip up to flat. Let it carry straight. I'll give her a look. Anthony made this very putt last year. When we, when me and him had a trilogy challenge challenge, but apparently when it's not against me, he doesn't make those. As we know, lightning never strikes twice in the same place. <laughs> and Paige, unfortunately, unable to convert on her birdies again. She's gonna have a little bit of a tough putt for par as that got roll, a little bit of a roll away. Dixon got swatted by the tree there. Yeah, just denied. He spent a, a little bit of time lining up that shot too. There was not a lot of windows. Uh, hole 16 here at 265 feet is usually going to be a forehand if you have it. Otherwise, uh, the putter turnover is second most popular, and this spike hyzer is also there. Um, once again, I completely lost it, but it ended up being about five feet left of the basket. I should just point at the basket when Dixon's throwing a hyzer. <laughs> Especially with the SPZ3. Seems like that's the play. Um, Isaiah's putter shot did go OB right over the cable. Anthony ends up just a little bit short left. Well, a lot bit short left. It was kind of low out of his hand. Page clips the tree. This is one of those shots that looks much easier until you're standing on it and there's a little bit of wind in your face because the turnover just wants to go right. Especially with the elevated basket, there's more pressure on getting it even closer. Absolutely. Paige, a little bit frustrated. She hadn't had her best putting day so far today. Isaiah will drop in for par there. Paige just jams this comebacker. I don't know if it came through on video, but there was a lot of force behind that putt there. She was she was determined to make that one. I believe it. So hole 17, 459. Dixon sending it. Trying to reach the basket here. What was the wind doing here, Danny? This was actually a little bit of a headwind. So he started out off to the left, let it work right, and it still came back. Yeah, I think that just speaks to the speed of the disc. Um it's got a little bit more. It's kind of like the escape and that feels like you can throw it farther than the numbers would indicate. Mm -hmm. So Dixon with a great tee shot. Isaiah unfortunately turned it just a bit much. He's going to find OB in the water there. Anthony turned it a bit more much and he's going to find OB in a, a slightly more embarrassing place. To <laughs> Anthony was actually using my discs, so I was grateful for him not to have skipped it off the road. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, Paige finds the OB on the right side in the parking lot. That one at least had a chance of coming back. Yeah. This one, she was calling for it to uh, stay right so it didn't fade into the water, but she ended up just throwing it past everything, so it was fine. And Anthony here with the headwind is going for that hyzer play. And this uh -oh. is a beautiful straight shot. Imagine if the basket was in the water. <laughs> and then it would have been a really great shot. Mm -hmm. Dude, Sorry for your disc, Danny. Yeah, it does, yeah, I mentioned those were my discs. 
<laughs> now Anthony Isaiah. offered to go in and get that one back, but I was I'm not really worried about it. Somebody can yeah. get free early access to the the trilogy challenge discs if you want to go fish that one out. That's right. If it happens to still be there, it's all you. Mm -hmm. So a couple of long approaches from Anthony, Page, and Isaiah. This is Dixon for birdie on 17. Oh, that's that's a shame because that's an incredible drive with a speed nine disc. I yeah, crushed that was, it. That was huge. That the, the old the old high fives, but social distancing. Yeah, you hate you hate to see the social distancing fives, but it's <laughs> it's the world we live in right now. Smooth SBZ three shot for Dixon. That's cruising once again. He's not sure if it's going to end up well, so he steps in the way, mm -hmm. and it didn't end well. No, that was uh, unfortunately just too good for him. At 383, this basket plays quite a bit downhill. I'd say it probably plays closer to like 350 maybe. Yep. Um, and so it is it is easy to go long throwing a, throwing a nine speed like that. Isaiah is just a little short and left with his bounty there, and Paige hits the tree. That is really the only thing you're trying to avoid besides the branches of the same tree. So it's really Ooh, just this is smooth from Anthony. Wow. Yeah, beautiful hyzer flip. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit short, but probably right around Circle's Edge. Give him a good shot at birdie. Not a bad approach from Paige there with the crown. Isaiah threw the bounty off the tee, so you can tell that it covers a lot of distance. Oh, oh. Just right side. Yeah, not Isaiah's best day on the course, but uh, still a fantastic player, showing you what the disc can do for different arm speeds here. Yeah, West is Isaiah's home course. I'd say he's about here on average about around a day. And uh, so he, he knows this course. Definitely not up to his potential yet. Dixon with a huge putt from 25 feet to save his par. And that's all we have for you. That's, uh, that's the Trilogy Challenge Challenge. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like the video if you like it. Subscribe for more Trilogy Challenge content. We've got an idea for a Disc Golf Answer Man one like we did last year with Robert and Bobby and Eric McCabe. Uh, me and Anthony would also like to do one, depending on how much time we have and if I have any discs left. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> They might be yeah. in the water. Who knows? I'm pretty excited to play these. These were available. Interesting thing about the mids and the fairway drivers, they were available in two plastics. The uh, The bounty was in Lucid and Fusion, and same for the, uh, the SPZ3. It was available in the Gold Line and the Opto. So yeah, just give a little bit of versatility to uh, to tournament directors. Different players might want different plastics to start out. So uh, find the combination that works best for you. I'm excited about this lineup because I think it's one of the best ones that we've had across the board um, ever. Honestly, just fantastic discs for sure. The the BT hybrid plastic has been really popular, too. I'm excited to see that in the crown. Yes, sir. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. See you.